Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Lewa Productions. Today in this video I am going to show how to set up and connect your X Air series of mixer using inbuilt Wi-Fi option of the mixer itself. I have XR18 with me here. So I am going to use XR18 for this video. If you have any other mixer of X Air series, you can certainly follow the steps in this video and you can also set up your mixer for the Wi-Fi connectivity. The first step of the process will be to set up your mixer itself for the Wi-Fi connectivity. So I will open XR18 here. Now you will see this kind of switch in the front of XR series of mixer and if you have X18 the same switch will be on the back of the mixer. You have to turn on your mixer and you have to slide this switch all the way to the right side so it will select the option of access point. Now that our mixer is up and running and it's ready for the connectivity, we will go ahead and we will fire up the XAir Edit app on the Windows machine. I will go ahead and I will connect my Windows machine with the Wi-Fi that is offered by the mixer. I will go to my available Wi-Fi. Here it shows XR18 to FEEBA. I will click that. Note that this is an open connectivity so you will not really need any password to connect with this Wi-Fi or SSID. I will choose connect automatically and then connect. Now here you will see it will keep showing you connecting but if you click somewhere else and if you come back to your Wi-Fi, it is now connected. Now if you see on the top left corner, it says XR18 the name of the mixer and 192.168.1.1. So that is the IP address of our mixer. There is one more way to confirm that mixer is connected with the Windows machine. You can go to setup, click there. Here you will see it shows connected with the IP address of the mixer. Now if we go to the access point, you will see here that the security is selected as open and this is the SSID of the mixer we just connected with the Wi-Fi option. If I go back to connection here, there is one thing you will notice, the name of the mixer here and the SSID name they are same and this might create some confusion so I will rather go ahead and I will change the name of my mixer. I will name it Lewa-XR18. I will click rename mixer. Now the mixer is renamed but you are still seeing here the old name and there is a reason why. Our mixer is still connected with the software and it did not really refresh. So I will disconnect the mixer by clicking here. So now the mixer is disconnected and because the software is continuously scanning after the disconnection for the available mixers. Immediately the name was refreshed here and now it says Lewa-XR18 that is the new name. So I will double click here or I can click on the connect here it's the same thing. So I will double click and now the mixer is connected with the same IP address. Our mixer is offering Wi-Fi but it's open. So if I go to the access point the security is open. So anybody can walk in with a Wi-Fi enabled device like a cell phone or a laptop and they can simply search or they can simply see this available SSID and they can connect with the mixer and we don't want to let that happen. So I will go ahead and I will set up some sort of security on my SSID. I will provide a password so anybody cannot just walk in and connect with my mixer's Wi-Fi. Before I change password or before I provide the password, I will make one more change here on the SSID. You can see that SSID name is pretty much standard and it's a generic name. So I will change it to something that I can personalize. I named it Lewa-XR18-Wi-Fi and now I will click on WPA2. A quick understanding about this different type of security options. Open is the least secure. I mean it's not even a secured one. It doesn't even provide a password. So open is definitely no no. WEP is better than open. WPA is better than WEP and WPA2 is better than WPA. So when it comes to these four security options, WPA2 is the best choice. I will go ahead and I will select it and I will provide my password here. 
I would recommend you should choose a strong password that is a combination of alphanumeric and some sort of special characters. Once I am on WPA2 and I provided my password and my SSID is updated, I will go ahead and I will click on apply. And we will wait for a few seconds here. So we should remember until now our mixer was connected to the open Wi-Fi with a different SSID name. And now we updated the SSID name and we also provided a password. So Mixer has lost the connection and this is normal process. There is nothing wrong with it. Auto reconnect is still active. So I will click OK. Now if I go back to the connection tab. Here you will see that connection has been lost and it's searching for devices but it cannot because the Wi-Fi itself is disconnected. There is a new Wi-Fi name and new password that we have to provide. So I will close this. I will go to my Wi-Fi options. Here you can see that now the new SSID is available. I will select it, connect automatically. I will have to provide my SSID password. Next. I will click somewhere else. I will go back to Wi-Fi. And here, now our new SSID is connected. It says secured now, so anybody cannot just walk in and connect with this SSID. They need to provide the password. Again, we can reconfirm the connectivity by going to the setup tab and here it says connected. By now you probably know that even if the Wi-Fi is there, mixer is there, if you don't have this app or this software, you cannot really connect with the mixer and you cannot do anything. I mean, you cannot control the mixer. And you may have a question like then in that case, what's wrong with open connectivity? So. That's a valid question and uh, there is a pretty valid answer for that. Let's assume a scenario. You are using open security option. So there is no password for your SSID. Now in the access point setting, your mixer allows maximum four active concurrent connection. People in the audience, their cell phones will continuously show your SSID when it's open as a open connectivity and they might think that this is internet and they will try to connect or they can connect to your SSID because it's open. So in this scenario, until your laptop machine is connected with your mixer, there is no issue, life is good. And let's imagine another three people from the audience, they connected with your mixer. Now for any reason, if your laptop is losing the connectivity with your mixer, and if somebody from the audience, the fourth person connects with your mixer, you are out of the game. Now that there are four active connections by four other people or four other devices, you cannot go back and connect with your mixer from your laptop. You will have to do a reset on your mixer and then you can drop those connections and then you can connect with your mixer or you have to wait until one of those four devices are disconnected from your mixer. You can understand this situation in a professional world when you are in a live gig with uh, hundreds of people in the audience and musicians live on the stage, how stressful it can be. There is another scenario that we should consider. Let's assume a person walks into the auditorium who has a cell phone with XR Edit app. Because your mixer offers open SSID, if that person can connect with your mixer, that person can take over the control of your mixer along with you. That person can literally change any fader setting, any EQ, any compressor. They can even mute out certain channel. They can mute out main left and right going to the front of house. I mean, the person has full control of your mixer same way as you do. So that's why I'm recommending and I'm suggesting very strongly that you should not use open security. Try to use at least WEP, WPA or WPA2 and secure your SSID making sure you are the only person who is connecting to your mixer. You are the only person who is controlling and operating your mixer and nobody else. So that's it for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.